CM Punk comes out for a promo. Oh, my God, what a fucking segment this was. <laughs> they talked their way back into it, just like I expected. Just like you told everyone. I told you all yes. when you were so mad at me for having the temerity to question anything AEW does. So he wants MGF. He gets the crowd to chant MJF. And as the crowd is chanting MJF, Tony Schiavone is muttering, sucks. MJF sucks. <laughs> oh, apparently it's the opposite. Billy, Billy likes the ass family. And the boys aren't down with being the ass boys. Very important to get this, uh, these, the opinion of these asses. Well, yes. But now it makes sense, you know. You can't go your whole career calling yourself Mr. Ass and then turn heel on ass at the end. He is consistent. Yes. So he buries MJF's scarf. It's fake. It's cheap. It's made in Long Island, so it's not made of strong material. He's fought through the all of the pinnacle. He wants MJF right now. And uh, finally, MJF comes out. Buries Cleveland for a long, long time. Accepts a match with Punk for next week in Chicago, in fact. He promises to win, and then people will see the real CM Punk. He'll lose his fake smile when he doesn't get what he wants. He'll blame all his failures and everyone else. He'll sue people if he doesn't get what he thinks he deserves. And soon he's leaving wrestling again. And Punk responds. Uh, apparently was, he was going to be in Cleveland was when he no-showed, and that was when he left WWE. But I guess. Yes. Okay. They said that. Yeah. So he says he'll uh, turn his back on you again and then cry about it on a podcast. And Punk says, you're listening to that podcast because you're just a fan. Go in the back, lace up the three-inch lifts in your boots, and come back it up. You're the one who paid to see me. You stood in line to get my autograph. And MGF calls out his cronies. And uh, what, hap- what the payoff is what you think would happen. Punk is outnumbered. One of them comes through the crowd, ambushing from behind. It was Spears. And he's overwhelmed, beaten to death. And the order war, though, to powerbomb him. He's reluctant, but he does. And it ends with MGF doing the sit-down pose, cross-legged with all his weight on Punk's chest, which would suck, by the way. And he vows to see him in Chicago. And yes, it was very, very good. What, are you calling MGF fat? No, I'm calling a human grown-ass man heavy. Dude, Finn Balor jumps off the top rope and stomps on people's guts. And then gets off. You ever seen, uh, you know, people do that, that senton? Remember that one into the Craig and almost killed him? Yes. Well, that, that, was, that was bad, I, too. I still don't know why that almost killed the guy. Because he was far away. No, not that one, you idiot. That's Farmer. No, one day uh, with Craig... I just was going to jump and just fall with my back on him. Like, just the jumping sent onto his back. Oh, okay. No. Bro, he sold it like, you know, I was maybe 150 pounds, but he sold it like I killed him. Yeah. And then years later, when I did the uh, that hardcore match with Marco Stunt, and we were brawling around this, this uh, like, the hardwood outside the ring, and uh, it was like in a gymnasium or something like that, so he threw me into the padded wall, and then I fell down. And he goes, uh, watch the senton, this little little prick. Less and, than 150 uh, pounds. He starts running at me, and it was like slow motion. Because all I could think was the time that I did this move to Craig, and he sold it like I'd been killed. Like he'd, or been, he'd killed. been killed. Yes. Yeah, it was, oh, I just don't ever do that move to me again. So uh, Marco goes running, and I just see him in slow motion. He, he jumps high in the air, and I... I did the thing, mm-hmm. and I did the half sit up, and I went, oh, fuck, here it comes. I didn't feel a thing. Yeah. Nothing. He's tiny. He's a tiny little dude. Mm. But anyway, I love this whole segment was awesome. And uh, MGF's plan clearly was to challenge him for a match in his hometown, but then have his cronies destroy him and powerbomb him back first onto his steel chair. So MGF hopes that he can beat him next week in Chicago. Because otherwise I couldn't figure out why, why he offered to wrestle him next week. It made sense at the end. It was a trap. He went to, That's where he wants to expose Punk the most. And uh, and where a win would hurt Punk the most. Hey, girl, how was your New Year's? Oh, it was so much fun. Brooks and I put our boots on, and we did a little Texas two-step. Oh, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not like that. Daddy, these girls are so you. Um, who are you? I'm Wendy Chu. And why are you looking at me like a ham sandwich? Wendy who? Ham sandwich? Wendy Chew? Then it ends. Bro, that was like easily a thousand times better than what they did. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.